super excited to have you here today. I'm doing a little bit of a different video than I have done in the past. Today, we are tackling my mug collection. So my mug collection is, it's a lot. So I figured now is a perfect time to go through the mug collection and to start figuring out what I have to keep because I just love it. Um, what I'm going to sell because I'm willing to let it go. And also, um, maybe I'll make a pile of maybes. So we'll see how we do. That is my goal for today to pull all my mugs down, go through all of them and figure out how I feel about all of them. So I know a lot of vintage lovers also really love mugs. So Hopefully you love mugs too, <laughs> otherwise you might not love this video, but I am going to take you along with me. These are my cabinets right here that house all my mugs, so I'm going to show you the insanity. Get ready. Get ready. All right, guys. Well, Archimedes says hello. Hi, Archimedes. Um, and this, is, this little corner of our kitchen is pretty much where the mugs live. So these are um, mugs. This is like teacups. I don't really have too much in here. Look at me not having too much in a place. So proud of myself. <laughs> and then this is also mugs. So just to show you, I'm gonna try and back up. Um, quite a few mugs and yeah, it's pretty deep in there quite a few mugs. So mugs in there. And then my main mug collection is here. So my goal is to get all my mugs that I love, love, love into this space because these are a lot easier to reach. Um, and then we'll put the B team over there. So my maybes, and then we'll pull out all the ones I'm willing to sell and make a separate cell pile. So that's what we're doing today, guys. So come along with me for the madness. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is pull all of the mugs out. So get ready for this excitement. So not gonna lie, this is considerably worse than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know why. Obviously, all of those cabinets are really deep, but um, yes, 
The hoarding is real. But hey, that's why we're here today, to clean up all of this hot mess. I also have a few more over here. Don't judge me. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay. Well, I was hoping that I wouldn't have this much of the counter covered because I was gonna try and divide it into three groups, but clearly I'm gonna have to bring this over to another counter so that I can divide it into the three groups. Oy, oy, oy. Projects are always more difficult than you originally expected them to be, huh? Yikes. Hi guys. All right, so I finally organized everything. That was hard. <laughs> um, it took forever, but I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to show you what I am willing to part with first because I feel like that's not as fun. And then I'll show you what I'm keeping second. That took so long, guys. That was hard. And then I was in the middle of organizing and there's an air show going on right over our house. I totally forgot. So I'm just organizing my mugs and all of a sudden, like the whole house started shaking. It was the loudest noise ever. And I was like, what is happening? I got really scared. But then I remembered it's an air show and my house is not going to explode. So that is a positive, but that was really scary. I've never had them fly like that close to us where the whole house was shaking. Wild. All right, back to the mugs. I know that's what you are here to see. Okay, so over here, I organized all the mugs I'm willing to part with. Some were harder than others, but I'll give you a quick overview of what I grabbed. These are the things that I am struggling with. Um, I really like these vintage 70s um, Muppet show mugs, but I never use them. So I don't know if maybe someone else would want them. Um, so I'm putting them in the pile. These guys are cool. I like that this is like this stoneware kind of bird. Um, so I kind of struggled with those. My husband has not looked at these yet, so there's a chance he's gonna wanna keep this, these Mickey um, vintage Disney mugs, but we'll see. Um, these little raccoon guys are super cute, so hopefully they will find a happy home. Um, this is a whole set of owl mugs, so I'm not sure. Hopefully somebody will think they're super cute. I like this one, it's hand painted um, like by David from 1982, I think. So that's pretty cute. Um, then I have a whole slew of milk glass um, mugs. For some reason, I don't know, milk glass mugs are super cute, but these just, these just weren't, I wasn't feeling it. Um, I really like these Fire King mugs. I thrifted this a million years ago. Um, thinking that I would just kind of thrift a whole set of them, but I have literally only ever found the blue one. I've never found another one. So I'm like, okay, well, I don't have a set. I just have the one. I'm going to let it go. Uh, these two are a cute pair. And then just a whole bunch of, these are, this is like an old grog one. Some flowers. These are, this one's cute with the daisies. Niagara Falls. Um, that's like an old train one, knowing Jordan, he's going to want to keep that one and strawberries. So I don't know if I'll sell those as a set or like divvy them up. I, I have no idea. Um, then I have these two. I have four of these, so I'm going to keep two and sell two. They are again, like someone's like project from the eighties or seventies, but I think they're pretty cute. Then I have these vintage Ma and Pa. They're a nice big size, so I'm going to let those guys go. Um, these are always hard for me to let go, the vintage Hallmark ones, because they're just so sweet. It says you make the world a nicer place, and it's a little deer and a bunny, like so cute. Um, this one's really cute too. It says good friends raise your spirits, and it's little bunnies and little mice. And then this one was really hard for me to let go. Um, it says smile, God loves you. And it's like all the cute little animals. So I'll probably sell those three as a set because um, they're pretty charming. 
Then I have these <laughs> Nestle mugs that in my opinion are kind of ugly, but Jordan really likes them. So chances are they'll be ending up back on the shelf. Um, then I have a series of old state mugs. I've got Maine, um, Oklahoma. This one's an old San Francisco. It's pretty cute. Um, San Diego and Montana. My husband's from California, so he'll probably keep one of the two um, California mugs, but we'll see. Then in the back here, I have a little set of vintage Japan um, pedestal mugs. This one's really sweet with a little bird on it. So I'm gonna sell those as a trio. These two are super cool, but they're not in perfect condition. They have some little flea bites, as you can tell, and one of them actually has a tiny little chip on the rim. So I'm not sure if those will sell. If so, they would probably have to sell for a really low price. So I might end up keeping them if they don't sell, but we'll see. Um, I already have one big hug mug, so I don't need to keep both. So I'm gonna sell one of them. Um, this guy, if it was not a tiny, tiny like child's mug, I would keep it. It says love one another and it's a little fox and a turtle and I love it so much and it's made in England. So it's, it's a really special little piece. It's just too small to do anything with. So like I can't, I mean, I guess you could drink an espresso out of it, but it's kind of useless. So I am doing a catch and release on that guy. Um, strawberries are super cute. This guy is made in England. It's kind of like a cool seabird. Um, this one's pretty funny. It says birth control. I liked that one. Had that one for a while. Finally letting it go. One of the vintage um, Garfield mugs. And then finally over here I have a grandma mug and then I have this funny one um world's greatest wife so yeah so that is that um and now I'll show you the ones that I am wanting to keep so I just put the holiday mugs over here these four are the ones I'm keeping and then these are the ones that will be for sale so I'm gonna probably wait until Christmas to list these but I have that one this one's a really cute one from shoebox it says define good and then this is an old Hallmark. It says Merry Christmas on one side and Happy Holidays on the other. Um, these are the ones I'm keeping. I only have two um, Halloween mugs. I have this one and their little eyes are glow in the dark. And then this one I bought myself on eBay. That is so cute. And then my little Odegari Peace Santas, of course I could never sell. Those guys are my favorite. So they will, I'll probably put these in like the holiday bins so they actually get put where they're supposed to be and not just get lost in the cabinet with all my 50 bajillion mugs. All right guys, well, it is better. <laughs> it's still a lot, but it is better. All right, so I'll start over here. These are not technically mugs, they're beer steins. So we kind of use them interchangeably for um, beer and for coffee. So, but none of these am I, did I purge because I just really like them. So this is that new one I just got, this cute little owly. Um, these owlies, this one's probably my most favorite. I love that bunny, um, that cool Yellowstone. I have these like, old Fort Lauderdale ones back here that say Joe and Frank that I love so much and they're dated 1972. Um, this cool Canada one with a little squirrel and then this ship that's um, an Odegari so it's really cool. That one's probably my least favorite but like it's kind of nice for guys so not that it really matters I don't care about like gender stereotypes or anything like that but you know ships are cool all right so there's that now I'm gonna kind of start you over here so 
I tried to organize everything based on category. So I did the best I could, but you know, some fit really nice and some are kind of loosely, loosely categorized. Um, the first group is sort of my forest animals. So I have this little one. I love it. It's, um, I don't know, I think it's German. I like the little fox with the bird in his mouth, the deer, more deer, the stag. I don't know. I really like that. I think it's super cool. Um, then I have this neat bear, more deer, um, butterflies, mushrooms, and little wildflowers. So pretty cute. Um, then back here I have a set of these milk glass mugs and I don't know I just really like these although I probably should sell them um this one particularly is just so sweet to me um life is a mystery to be lived not a problem to be solved I don't know I just really like them so I'm like oh, I don't want to get rid of them yet but we'll see um these guys are really cool uh they're Holt Howard. Definitely wanted to keep those. Um, up here, oh goodness, I have a set of these vintage 70s butterfly mugs. So I really like them because they're all different. So I could not part with any of those. And I like that they're a whole set. So if I ever did sell them, um, I would sell them as a set. But I actually have a set of really cool butterfly mugs listed in our shop right now so if you are interested in really cool vintage butterfly mugs check out my etsy because i do have some um then i have these i actually thrifted these pretty recently they are really cool the only my only problem with these is how small they are they're like a really obnoxiously small size but they're super sweet and i bought them as a set of three so if I ever sold those, I would also sell those as a set of three. And I guess I, I could if someone really wanted them. Um, I would be willing to sell them. But for now, they stay with me. Um, lately, I've been trying to pick up these blue and white vintage and brown um, vintage mugs. I love them. Whenever I find one, I grab them. My favorite are these ones that are in, made in Korea. So like these... Three are all the like made in Korea ones. There's just something so pretty about them. Um, sorry about all the clanking. I'm sure it's driving you insane. Um, and then I recently got this one. I just thought it was so pretty with a little bird. And then in my, oh my goodness, I'm sorry guys. In my newest haul, I was gonna actually share this one with you guys, um, but you get to see it early. This is a stoneware one, so this one's handmade, but I just love the handle, so that was really cool. I did keep two of my vintage um, Hallmarks because I couldn't let them all go. So this one's super cute. It says, Jesus loves me, and it's a little bunny. I especially like that it has the lid. And then this one's definitely my favorite. Um, it says, a friend can make your day worthwhile. And actually, a friend of mine got me this for my birthday a few years ago, quite a few years ago now. Um, a friend knows how to make you smile. So, very special. Love those. Can't get rid of those. Um, then I have a set of these owl mugs. These also are an annoyingly small size. I think that's a problem with vintage mugs is they're so small. Um, but I just, I couldn't get rid of them because they're such a cool set. I think my favorite is this guy. Isn't he cool? I love his face. And I also really love this guy. Um, okay, then I, I didn't even realize I have like a whole collection of mugs that are from national parks. So I have multiple from um, Great Smoky Mountains. I have this one. I actually just thrifted this one the bears. Um, then I have this one, which is from Yellowstone. Super cool. 
And this one's a super old one from the Smoky Mountains. Really cute. Um, this one's just from Colorado, but I loved all the animals on it, so I wanted to keep it. I really, really love forest animals, so it stayed with me. And then lastly, I've never even been to Arizona, but I love this mug. I love the little Roadrunner. Just thought it was super cool. So decided to keep that. Um, then I have a couple of my vintage Boy Scout ones. This National Jamboree from 1969. You guys have seen this owl. I just bought that at an antique shop. Um, back here are mugs that are my husband's. So this one is probably his favorite. It's this Alabama Space and Rocket Center um, vintage mug. That's his college. He likes Boy Scouts because he was a Boy Scout. Um, and then this hilarious 1980s McDonald's Olympics mug. Um, then I have a whole set of, oh goodness, I'm so sorry guys, um, of these Acapulco mugs. I have, I think six of them. So they're on a mug tree and that guy just didn't fit on the mug tree. So I have that. And then obviously since it's part of a set, I can't, I'm not going to let it go. Um, I'm not sure what to do with these, honestly. I just think they're really cool. I don't know. I'm gonna keep them for now, and then maybe if I sell some of like the huge collection that I have behind me, I'll let those guys go, I don't know. It's hard. Um, these are the two you guys already saw. These guys um, have some chips and stuff on their faces, so I don't know if they would sell. So for because of that, I'm just gonna keep them because I don't wanna get rid of them. So I might be able to touch them up a little bit and then maybe if some of the other stuff sells, like same thing with those guys, I could sell them, but I don't know. Um, that's my little, my only modern mug is a sweet little llama mug. I love llamas from Anthropology that I thrifted. And then um, up here is a whole group of kind of my funny mugs. So I have the boss, love that. Big hug mug. Um, this one's hilarious. It says bottoms up. Pretty funny. Thought, well, I think it's cute. My mom thinks it's kind of rude, but I think it's cute. Um, <laughs> Then I have um, a few of these Taylor mugs from 79. So I have this escargot with the little snails. I think I showed that in a haul, I can't remember. Um, and then he's famous for the naughty bunnies. So I have that. And then he does like all different like naughty animals that are pretty funny. So I have that one and then also the elephants from 1979. Um, okay. Up here I have like a row of my my owl mugs. I liked this one. I was gonna sell it, but then it has its baby on the other side. So I was like, oh gosh, I can't let that one go. It's too cute. But the rest of them are really awesome. I was debating what to do about this one because it's full of chips. Like you can see the rim is so chipped, but the graphic on it is so cute. I just, I don't know. The hoarder in me can't let it go just yet. But everybody else is staying. They're all pretty cool. Um, I have this little one. I'm surprised I don't have more bird mugs because I actually love birds. Um, but this is um, the same tattoo that I have. So it just kind of made sense to have that. All right. Oh, and then in the middle I have... <laughs> Oh wait, well, okay. So I have frog mug or toad mug. He is handmade and I'm obsessed with him. He's super ginormous and obnoxious. Um, yeah, pretty much everyone I know hates him, but I really like him. Um, then I have a few bunny mugs. So by and 
and large. The 80s aren't really like my aesthetic, but this is from 1988 and I was born two months before 1988. So um, I just felt like, okay, that's pretty much my age. So had to, had to keep that. Um, this is my other bunny mug. It's, I have a really hard time finding vintage bunny mugs, but this one's really cool and it's from San Francisco. So, and it's like really well done. So I love that. Um, then I have a few cat mugs. I was, I actually bought this one to sell, but, um, upon further inspection, it has a big divot in the back of it. So I'm not sure what to do. Um, I might ask my best friend if she wants it. Um, and then recently I thrifted two of those. So this would be the third one. So I'll probably ask my best friend if she wants that as well. And then finally, probably one of my top 10 favorite mugs is this handmade, really weird cat mug. And he like stretches around the whole mug. So weird. It's huge and amazing. All right, guys. So that is it. There's the mug stash. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I know that was such a weird video, but I'm super excited to have gone through all my mugs. Um, hopefully in the next, I don't know, knowing me month or so, I'll get all of the mugs I'm willing to let go up for sale. So if you're interested in any of them, um, just let me know because I can list them a little faster. But if not, um, I just hope you enjoyed the video and I thank everybody for watching and thank you for all the kind comments and um, likes and thank you to everybody that has subscribed. I really appreciate it. It definitely makes this a lot more fun when you have a few subscribers. So thank you and I hope that everybody has a wonderful weekend. Bye guys.